always wanted to shred the same way as your favorite guitar players? If yes, then this video is exactly for you. And for those who are new here, my name is Lucas and I'm the founder of Modern Guitar Course which helps intermediate guitar players to become advanced. There are so many important aspects when it comes down to guitar playing and sounding like a pro. But as a metal enthusiast myself, speed was always one of those things that were important for me. Simply as that's what I've always admired about my guitar heroes. So when things finally started clicking and I started unlocking new levels of speed, it made me very happy. So if you're here to experience the same exact thing, then stay tuned as I'll share with you three things that helped me to reach those insane guitar speeds. The first thing was the shift of the mindset. Since we've started playing the guitar, the only thing we're reminded is to play clean and then we can increase the tempo, but only by 5 BPM at a time. Okay, that works, but then you get to this limbo around 120, 140 BPM and there is just no way past that. I always give this analogy to my students. If someone would put a gun to your head and the only way you can save yourself is to play 6 notes per beat at 120 BPM over one string, nearly everyone would be able to do that. And that's the same exact speed and wrist motion that makes things look fast such as this run. So, as you can see, it's not about the picking hand not being fast enough. It's about people being afraid of just playing fast. So that was the first thing I've realized. I can't just be walking around focusing on my foot work, making sure I lay down the feet properly and then expecting that this proper walking technique will get me sprinting. It's bullshit. It's never going to happen. So that's why you start sprinting and it might look ugly. You might be flipping and flopping your arms around, but only by doing that you'll realize, hey, maybe if I bring my arms closer to the body and use them to drive my motion forward, my sprinting will be more efficient. And the same exact thing applies to the guitar. By only playing fast you'll realize, okay maybe my picking is a bit too hard, so I'll try to loosen it up and it might help me to generate that faster motion. Then I realized thanks to me picking lightly, my wrist, forearm and overall posture don't tense up. So that was another thing that was huge for me. Make sure you stay relaxed and that you practice how you actually want to feel when you play fast. No one wants to feel like, oh shit, that fast part is approaching. Let's tense up and hope I'm not going to fuck it up. So if you shift your mindset around that, then you'll start practicing playing fast by playing fast. And you can do it perfectly just over one string to start with. Then two strings. If you're looking for actual speed building exercises where you can put everything to a test, then check out my video somewhere here where I share them with you. So we've talked about the mindset and the overall approach to playing fast. The last thing I want to share with you is the position of the pick and the wrist. One thing that really helped me a lot was to tilt my wrist from this position that I use for riffing to this one where the pick is flat to the strings. By doing so my overall picking just became more efficient mainly when moving from one string to another. Of course you've got the whole pick slanting thing, the downward and upward escape motion you can try tilting your pick to see what feels more natural. So let's say if you're changing the strings on upstroke, you tilt your hand more this way. So it goes one, two, three, and the pick is outside the string, making it easier to pick it with the upstroke. So that's the downward escape motion. And then if you're changing the strings on downstroke, then you can tilt your hand the other way. So the strings are not in the way when you're moving on to the next one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And 
that's known as the upward escape motion. So give it a try and see whether that makes any difference to your plan. But I've experienced with my students that it tends to get them confused and they focus on it when playing more than is needed. Your hands are clever and unique at the same time. That's why they will find its perfect way how to position themselves to exactly achieve that motion you're after. You just got to continue trying and failing every single day until the path becomes clear in front of your eyes. Trust me, it will. Obviously, it doesn't happen overnight, but it certainly will way faster with this approach than trying to increase your speed by 1 BPM at a time and hoping that you will magically start playing fast one day. So that's all I've got for you today. Even though this video might be a bit different to any other videos out there about speed, I'm just sharing my story and what helped me on my journey of playing fast. So if you've resonated with it and it opened your eyes, please let me know by hitting that like button. And without further ado, thanks for being here and supporting my channel by watching these videos. Have a great day.